As of today, we're still waiting on official Discord voice chat support on the PlayStation 5 console. But luckily, I have a workaround for those of you guys that are looking to pull in your gameplay and your Discord voice chat into OBS. If you don't already own a capture card, make sure you stay to the end of this video as I have an additional method to show you guys that don't have one. Okay, so jumping into the tutorial, the first thing you guys are gonna wanna do is boot up your OBS and then connect your capture card, whether that's the Elgato, the Avermedia, which is what I'm using for this video, whichever device you're using, make sure you hook it up correctly and then we're gonna go back into OBS and we're gonna add a video capture device. You can name it whatever you'd like and then make sure that your capture card is selected within the drop down menu and you should be good to go with your gameplay. Now we need to be able to hear this game audio before we start adding discord voice chat to the mix. As you can see in my case, my audio is not coming through right now. So what we're gonna do is press the plus button. We're gonna add an audio input capture, go to the device drop down and look for HDMI line in live gamer extreme three. There we go, select okay, and our audio is coming through. Click on the settings icon, go to advanced audio properties, and if we go under the name and find the Avermedia audio input device that I just added, go all the way to the right under audio monitoring, we wanna select that drop down and choose monitor and output. That way we can hear the game audio right out of the computer that's going through the capture card. Now I'm using this capture card as an HDMI output audio device. So I'm not using the chat link cable. I don't have any headphones plugged into the controller or even any USB headsets plugged into the PlayStation as that would affect the audio from traveling through. So this is all over HDMI. If you want that commentary over your gameplay, make sure you pick up a USB mic, plug it into your computer, and then all you need to do is go to your settings, head over to the audio tab, and then for one of your mic auxiliary devices, select the drop down and choose your microphone. In my case, it's the Elgato Wave 3. So I'm gonna choose that, select apply and okay. And if you look here for my mic auxiliary, you can see that it's coming through. Now let's pull up the Discord application. Oh, always gotta log in. Let's quickly go into our Discord user settings, go to voice and video, and then let's make sure that we have the correct input microphone that we want to be using and the output device, which you can just leave at default. Now we can just join one of the voice channels. I'm all alone in the voice channel. But once you have some people in your voice call, you may be tempted to just go back to OBS and record your desktop audio by selecting your speakers or your headset as an input. But don't do that because this will record your PS5 audio twice. So a better way to do this is by using the application audio capture source, which is available right now in OBS version 28. All you need to do when using the source is select the application that you're looking to pull audio from. In this case, it's Discord. For the second dropdown, match the title and windows of the same type. If you're on macOS, of course, this won't work exactly the same as I showed you here, but I definitely recommend installing Ground Control Caster as that will allow you to separate all of your different macOS audio application sources, and you'll be able to pull that audio into OBS without a problem. I'll make sure to leave all the links to everything that I've discussed in this video in the description below. Now, I promise you guys that don't have a capture card or way to record your game audio and also use Discord voice chat, well, what you guys are going to want to do is install PlayStation Remote Play, log in with your credentials, and boot up your PS5 console. If you don't see Remote Play working with your PlayStation 5, then you need to make sure that you have Remote Play enabled on your PS5, and you also need to make sure that the PlayStation is set as your primary console. Using Remote Play through the computer will require you to plug in the PlayStation 5 controller via the USB-C to USB-A cable into your computer so that you can control your PlayStation. If you would rather use your controller directly with the PS5, then you'll wanna log into Remote Play using a secondary PSN account. Then you can activate your PlayStation 5 controller and log into your main PlayStation account. Now it's like you're using your PlayStation 5 without Remote Play, but you're still using Remote Play. But you probably noticed the Remote Play dialog box on the top of the screen, which is definitely annoying. You don't want this in your recordings or even while you're gaming. So to fix this, you're gonna need to navigate to your language settings and switch it to another English language variant. And as you can see, it'll be removed off your screen, at least temporarily until you need to do a new remote play session. If you're planning to use OBS, all you need to do is go to your sources and add a window capture and then just select the remote play window. But now it's time to join your chat on the Discord application. So launch that up, join the call that you're planning to have. And now for your audio, you can use the audio input capture sources for both Discord and remote play to have your game audio and chat audio recorded for your stream. Again, make sure you're on OBS 28 to use this feature. 
Now with either of the methods that you end up using, you'll be able to see your gameplay in OBS as well as hear your Discord audio and have it recorded at the same time. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, hit it with a big thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if you're new around here. Let me know if you have any questions in the comment section below and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.